Did you guys see this brawl that happened at the River Dock in Montgomery, Alabama? It was a story that went super viral over the weekend and caught my attention. So I wanted to talk about an aspect of this story that I think is important, I think people should see, uh, that I think makes a difference. So I wanna get into this, but before I do, if you're new to this series, new to my channel, my name is Elliot Connie, and I'm a licensed psychotherapist. And I, I cover stories that I think stand out to me that have a psychological aspect to them and the way they impact the people in the story and society itself. So here, I'm gonna show you a clip from the video that's going super viral. I'm gonna show you a piece of it. So if you've not seen this story, you'll you'll get a graph and have a context for what I'm gonna what I'm gonna be saying. Most people have seen it, but if you haven't, here's the video. So, so there's the majority of this video and you can see longer editions of this video online and, and you can see things, but, but the thing I wanna highlight here is the use of the word brawl. I was just kind of living life during the weekend. I wasn't really paying attention to a whole lot. And then I saw this story about a brawl that happened in Alabama. Uh, when I finally saw the video, it wasn't what I expected having heard the word brawl. Brawl implies one group and another group are in a like contested conflict. And look, I don't want to make race the central issue of this story. To me, it doesn't really matter whether the dock worker was white or black or the people attacking were white or black. What matters is equity of the way we describe the situation. And in this particular situation, this dock worker and the, the way this story unfolds, this dock worker was asking those people to move their boat so the bigger, larger boat that was supposed to be able to park there could park there. They did not move their boat. And then you saw the first punch in the video I just showed, which was the man in gray shorts attacking the, the dock worker who happens to be African-American. Now, the situation does turn into a bit of a brawl, but only after people came to the rescue of the African-American worker. You know, I, I sit and think about this and I, and I can't help but wonder what would the story be had the people who were doing the attack been black and the security officer been white and the people who came to rescue the dock worker had been white as well. They, the people, and you can see one guy was even swimming to the dock to, to help this dock worker. Those people came to save a man, potentially save his life. There were about eight people kicking and punching him as he was laying on the ground. That's not a brawl. That's assault. That's an attack. That's a violent attack. And we have to have an equity in the way that we report things because the way you talk about something skews perspective and skews response. I think the African-American community is very used to things being described differently when something happens and, it, and the perpetrators or alleged perpetrators are African-Americans versus when they're not African-Americans. But in this story, it stood out to me and I just thought this is a really good example of criminals criminal. And, I'm, and like I said, it doesn't matter to me what race the potential perpetrators are versus the potential victims. But in this way, the way the story was being described, I just thought it was not equitable. I thought it was really unfair. And I think we need to make sure that we are talking about society in equitable ways. It makes society safer, more kind, more loving. And I think that's really, really important. I would also add that the people in this story have been arrested. The people who attacked the dock worker have been arrested and uh, there are investigations going on and they're gonna be held accountable as they deserve to be. Regardless of race, we have to hold people accountable for their crimes or alleged crimes. And in this case, that's going to be happening. So I think having an equitable way 
of reporting a story is really, really important and would impact society in a super positive way. And I hope we begin to do that more consistently than we currently do. So thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you think of this video. I'd love to hear what you think of the story. And also like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on social media. I love you guys so much. Thanks for being here. And I will see you in the next video.